Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, my dear class, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hi, Carito, how are Good you? Evening. Good evening, welcome. How are you feeling? Um, I, um, I happy. You're happy? I, yeah. Tell me. Um, uh, this this day uh, vacation. Oh really? Yeah. You start uh, vacations today or you had vacation today? Uh, today uh, desde ahora lo que pasa que estaba incapacitada. Eh, uh, yeah, because <laughs> you you were sick, I remember. Aunque le aunque realmente eh, mañana me va a tocar ir al hospital, pero pero no con la presión del trabajo. Pues, ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Va como a, a pasar consulta, me imagino. Eh, voy a la, a la revisión de mis exámenes para lo de la cirugía. Oh, a ver, para a ver qué tal. A ver, sí. a ver para cuándo se la dejan. Exacto, para eso voy. Bueno, sí. que me alegra que ya esté más pronto, más cerca. Ah, de... Sí, más cerca. Yo de... creo que voy a finalizar el curso. Probablemente no haga el otro porque... Voy a estar en reposo. Sí, va a estar en, en medio ahí de, de, de todo el, sí. de todo lo de la, la operación y todo. ¿Y de qué es la, de qué es la cirugía, Carita? Eh, fíjense que lo que pasa es que la, la primera cirugía, la columna, eh, a mí se me creó un queloide por dentro. Ah. Y ese queloide está tocando nervio ciático. Ah, ese, me imagino. Ese es sí. el gran dolor. No, es que eso es, eso es horrible. Eso Ajá, sí, ese entonces, dolor es... Y fatal, tengo la no. última vértebra uh -huh. abierta también. Oh, my God. <laughs> so sí, tengo y desplazada. Entonces, eso vamos a corregir. Oh, well, but thank God you have the opportunity to get the, the surgery. And hopefully everything is going to be fantastic. And after that, for sure, if you are looking to feel better, that's, that's the, the result, right, for, for that. And that would be the solution for this problem. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, Carolina, everything is going to be fine and you're going to be out of pain because that is a very difficult thing. I, I, I remember my mother was suffering a lot from that and after the surgery, she was perfect, right? Después de la yeah. cirugía, mi mamá quedó como adolescente otra vez. Así que mire. Primero Dios que así va a ser también conmigo. Ah, sí va a ser. Porque ya sufrir mucho dolor. No, no, no. Ya va a andar carito ahí dando vueltas hasta en bici. <risa> Puro terremotillo otra vez. Puro cipotillo otra vez. <risa> ok, perfect. Well, I, I feel glad that you are getting close and closer and closer of your, of your surgery. Hopefully you are going to have it soon. So, but enjoy your vacations. If they start today, you are going to have a lot of days to rest. <risa> to rest yeah. at home. Well, voy a descansar, realmente voy a tratar de descansar. Yes, try to try to rest, try to enjoy your time at home and for sure eh, enjoy. I mean enjoy being there, enjoy resting because you have been doing a lot and you have been going through a lot as well. So try to try to enjoy these days at home. Okay. Okay, welcome to the rest of my class. Welcome, students. How are you today? Pretty good, teacher. Thank pretty, you. Pretty good. No rain, Mr. Jorge? Uh, pouring, pouring it's rain. pouring rain today. Yeah, here in San Salvador, we don't have any. Mr. Nelson, Cristia, how are you doing today? 
What do you say? Very fine, teacher. Very fine. Excellent. Happy that you are here. Thank you. Happy that you are here early. Because I know Tuesdays are difficult. Yes. In a moment, I I own my camera. My okay, camera. Don't, don't worry. Your camera. Very good. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Jose Carlos, how are you? Just fine, teacher. Excellent. Everything is okay. And your little baby? It's cute. <laughs> she's right there. <laughs> Hello. I think she's learning as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, I mean, when you are very close to your to your kid, I mean, that's okay. I, they they enjoy it being <laughs> and sharing these moments with you. Thank okay, you. Mr. Nelson, how are you today? Hello, how are you, teacher? I am doing great, thank you. And you? Very good. I'm good. Tired? Yes. I imagine. Hey, Mr. Danny Anthony fighting with the audio <laughs> again. Poor Danny has been having a lot of difficulties with the connection, but uh, we hope to see him back soon. Hello, Silvita. Hello, Mr. Juan. Welcome to your class. I am very happy to have you here. Well, today we are going to work a little bit on the practice we started yesterday. We are also going to do other practices about uh, the manual, but uh, the main thing that we are going to develop today are the if clauses, okay? We are going to work a bit as well on introduce, introducing yourselves at the moment of facing an interview in English, right? We are going to work on that as well. And we are going to also practice a little bit of speaking. We're going to have a little bit of interaction as well. So today is going to be a day full of practice. Tomorrow we are going to finish working with the things on the platform to start unit number four. And we are going to do a short uh, review of the past tenses on Friday. So uh, because I have seen that you struggle a lot with that topic and uh, I am planning to do a short review of the past tense on Friday. So you can go on vacations with the practice done because yesterday when you were like sharing, I could see that in some cases you have difficulties to express your ideas in the past. And it is always good to review a little bit, okay? It is always good to go back and review when, uh, when you express ideas in the past, right? So, we are going to work today. Today is our class number 18, right? And I am going to share my screen with everybody to start our day. Okay, here we go. So for me, it's a big, big pleasure to have you here to actually share all the things that we need to work on today. And we are getting closer and closer to the end of the module, but uh, we are going to be uh, finishing everything by next Friday. So we are missing one unit still on the manual that it's unit number four. And uh, I don't know if you have checked it out uh, for the topic of the next unit. Have you checked it? ¿Quién ya se fue a revisar cuál es nuestro último tema? Uh -huh. How, uh, uh, teacher, how yeah. to use cloud uh, when or if? Okay, that's the topic that we started yesterday. It is uh, one of the last topics of unit number three. And unit number four, it's about the inventory, right? It's about the inventory. And that is what we are going to be covering on a Friday, a Monday, when Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, right? On Friday, we are going to do a final review. We have some presentations ready for that day. I am going to let you know a little bit of this after vacations. So we are going to work on the inventory as the last part of the, 
of the module. And that will be the end of our, of our uh, intermediate four. Okay, so that's what's coming. I know all of you have the manual. So if you can start advancing on the last unit, you can do it, right? You can start checking on the vocabulary for you to read a little bit, for you to, uh, to check what is it about and for you to start advancing. Uh, I don't see any problem on that. So when the moment comes for us to cover those, uh, that material, so we can be ready to do it. Today, for the one-on-one, -on -one, I am going to ask Tati to stay for some minutes at the end of the class, okay? And we can have our one-on-one. -on -one. In our one-on-one, -on -one, we have this experience of talking for a moment in detail about the things that we, that we need to do, the things that we need to improve. And that's why I am just like sending uh, like little, little practices and things on the group that can be helpful for everybody. Okay, so that is what we do in our one on one sessions. Okay, so going back to our topic, as you can see here, we are missing unit number four, right? This is what we're going to do today. We're going to practice a little bit of reading, and unit four will be about the inventory management. Okay, we're going to work on this on Friday, and we're going to start also the practice of the past tense for you to have it complete, okay? Thank you very much for all the cameras that you have on. Welcome to the rest of the students. So let's start today. Let's start our day. Let me share my PowerPoint so we can work, okay? Remember our agreements for the class, practice your English, ask for help when needed, keep your cameras on all the time. I really appreciate that because I can see that you are doing the things in class. And um, keep your microphones off if we are not using them, attend all your sessions on time, participate as much as possible, keep a cooperative attitude during the class for sure. Uh, participate as much as possible, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group, and work on the platform every single day. Okay, so we are going to work on some pictures. Let me get them for you. And here we go. Let me get the pictures. Okay. So I am going to show you different pictures and this is just sentence creation. You have to be original at the moment of creating the sentence. I am going to show you a picture and you have to tell me something original about the picture. You can use any type of a structure. It can be present, past or future and you can create a, a complete answer, right? I don't want a very short answer like eh, he has a guitar. No, right? That would be just a very simple thing. I need a complete answer. For example, if I show you this one, I show you this picture. Can you see it? If I show you this one, maybe you can say, well, that is my friend. Uh, that is my friend Gerardo. He is a mariachi in a band and he loves to play his guitar every single night. He is very good at playing music and he has been playing the guitar since he was a little kid. Okay, you have an example. What is his name? Gerardo. Gerardo, right? Uh, where does he work? In mariachi. He's a mariachi, right? He's a mariachi, right? He's a mariachi, very good. And when he works in a band. He works in a band, right? He works in a band. And how old was he when he learned to play the guitar? Six years. <laughs> He was six years, right? He six, was a kid. Since he was a little kid. He was since, a little kid. Since he was a little kid. Good. So I am going to show you the different pictures and you are going to create a sentence with it. Okay. I am going to show you the picture and I am not going to assign one name. I need you to be creative, all of you. And when you have the answer, I need you to raise your hand, open your microphone and tell me the answer. 
Okay. I am going to show you the next one. Here we go. Let me see. I will find a, a correct angle for this. Ta -da. He is Peter. He is cooking the dinner and he is a, a good cooker. <laughs> He's a good cooker, <laughs> huh? He's a good chef. What else can you give me? Who is he cooking for? It's like a the dinner. Maybe. Soup. Okay, he's he's cooking. He's cooking dinner for some some for soup. all his family. For all his family, he's cooking soup. Uh huh. What else? What else can you tell me? In the future, I I I see a box of cereal. A Maybe. box, a <laughs> box of a box of cereal for flour. <laughs> It's spaghetti. It's, it's a spaghetti, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, okay. So, in brief, in brief, he is Peter. He is a chef. He is cooking for all his family, and he has, he he's has cooking cereal. <laughs> he has a bottle of salt. He has, he has, uh, well, a little bottle of salt. He's putting a lot of salt on the food. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> the, and, oh, the blood pressure. Oh, it... <laughs> For sure, I I saw uh, four pants. Uh, pants. Well, yes. four pants or three pants and one container. One container or a big a, a big, big container. container. Yes. Okay, so he is he is Peter. Peter look like Peter look like very happy cooking the, the dinner for all the family. this is a big bowl it's a big bowl well peter is very happy because he's a very good chef you told me that he's yes. a very good chef he's a complete but chef he's enjoying a very cooking. enjoying cooking Kellogg's. <laughs> 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 i am a good chef as well so this is peter now i am going to show one i am going to show one for a for you to create but now i need you to create the idea right create the idea organize it and when you have it ready raise your hand or uh, uh, yeah raise your hand on the platform and you are going to read it i need you to organize the idea okay create it organize it and then you give it to me you can take like one minute to organize your idea here it is the picture let me make it less brighter. There you go. Check it out. Check it out and organize the idea on your notebook. Organize the idea. And when you have it organized, you can share it with me. There you go. Whee. <laughs> okay, Jose Carlos, he has it ready. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, she is my friend Ruth. She works in a hospital. She is a really nice person. She likes helps to the other ones. That's okay, it all, very good. So she likes helping the other. She she likes helping others, right? Very good. She's a very helpful person. Claudia, come continue connecting this idea. Con give me more information about them. Well, the patient is a friend of mine. She's Laura. She broke her leg playing basketball the last week. She's <laughs> she broke her 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 um three. <laughs> <laughs> her ankle, her ankle, ankle. I have an idea. Her ankle. Uh, the doctor says he ha she has to stay in the hospital for two weeks more because she has a uh, blood pressure, high blood pressure. <laughs> because because of all the salt that his boyfriend put on the food. <laughs> okay, good. Let me see. Manuel, give me more information. And Christia is going to finish well, with this information, huh? Well. I see one person that is sick, like a, like a woman. Uh -huh. uh, therefore, the, the nurse is give her some pills. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Uh, okay, so the nurse is giving her some medicine. Cristia, finish the idea. Okay, the patient is Monica. Uh, she has an accident when she goes to her work. Uh, unfortunately, she has to visit the hospital. And Sarah will help will help her. Okay, so she you see, she had an accident on her way to the hospital. She has high blood pressure. She broke her her ankle, my God. But the good thing is the doctor is Jose Carlos' friend. So she is going to be out in a moment. And she is getting medicine, right? So she is going to be fine soon. Juan de Dios, what do you have? Tell me, finish the, the, the idea. Okay. She is Carmen, assisting a patient because she is a nurse. Uh, she likes to help in her uh, and see people in the hospital. Very good. Uh, you use a new word, you see, injured, injured people. Injured is like when you when you hurt yourself and for sure you get uh, like uh, a part of your body damage. Okay, I am it going is. to, yes? If I say, but if I say damage is correct or I have to say injured. Well, injured is in fact, when you open a part of your body or you, or you like, for example, when you break a part of your body, so like, I mean, she broke a bone, for example. But imagine that you are going on a, on a bicycle, right? And you fall down and you cut your leg, you're injured, estás herida, right? It cannot be damaged because we are not a product. We are not an object, right? But it's like uh, she was, she hurt herself. Hurt herself is like se golpeó, se, se hirió, right? She hurt herself. Okay, okay. That, that will damage, be the, damage is only for a thing. Damage will be like for, for food or for something that it's not working. It's like, maybe it's damage. You said it's not working anymore, right? Okay. Or, or something about food is like, oof, it's already damaged. It doesn't work. Okay, it's, thank you. It's thank done. You. Yep. And, and wound, wounds ah, is wound? the same like, like yeah, wound is la, la herida en sí. Wound ya es como la parte abierta. Okay. Cuando dice, uh, he was injured, es like se, se dañó, se golpeó, no sabemos si está quebrado, roto, but he, he was, he is in a bad situation with his health or with her health. Okay. Es un, es un daño físico. Exactly like that. Yes. It's an injury. It's un, un daño ya sea en cualquiera de sus, de las partes de su cuerpo. Let's see. I am going to show you the next one. Ready. Right. And I will appreciate that all the other ones who did not participate, participate on this one. Okay. Los que no participaron en anterior van a participar ahora también. So be ready. Chan, chan, chan. There you go. Let me find a good light position. Like a, like a song, bus time. There you go. Write down what's going on in the picture. Chan, chan, chan. Don't send it, Paula. That's a happy couple dancing. Uh -huh, that's a very happy couple dancing. But what's the story behind the happy couple? Give me more information. I need more details. They are Joseph and Laura, and uh -huh. they wanted to go to a date. They decided to go to the theater. And after that, they decided to go to a nice place. They love to watch TV in their home. But that night, they decided to do another thing, another different thing. And that's it. OK, so they are always at home. But today, they decided to do something different, right? They decided to go dancing. Cristia, tell me more about them. Uh, they are Carlos and Flor. And they are celebrating their anniversary. So they, so they decided to have a date and go to dance all the night. 
Ah, well, that's cool. They are celebrating their anniversary. Cool. And they all they are always <laughs> at home, but now they decided to go do and to go and do something different, right? Someone else who wants told, to tell me. Teacher, I told this uh, for example, quinceañera. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sweet 15 party. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, we never okay. know. Uh -huh. Tell me. I, I, I see Carlos. Carlos is dancing with her with her girlfriend. With his I girlfriend? With his girlfriend. I see the party is good because there are many people in there. And they are enjoying the party. Uh, they look uh, very happy. They look very happy, right? Carlos is dancing with his girlfriend, right? And the party is good because there are a lot of people there. Okay, I am going to go with one of the final pictures. We are missing two pictures. And here we go. Let me see. Okay. Remember when you have your idea complete, raise your hand on the platform and share it. I see a young man sitting in Tokyo and feeding him. Uh, uh is very happy cat right he is a very happy cat for sure because his owner is feeding it christian okay. tell me okay he is george and george really loves his cat uh, the name of cat is copito copito <laughs> i thought about it uh, And he enjoyed to give him some delicious cookies for cats. Okay, cookies for cats. This is this is my a very. Feeds, uh -huh. My father feeds the cat because I am not in the house at lunch. Therefore, the cat was sorry fine. Hey, very good using the connectors and everything. Very nice, right? He was feeding his cat, right? Therefore, the cat was very happy. This is Diana's. Yeah. This is Diana's boyfriend. This, is a, this is a little, a little tiger. <laughs> yeah, look at the look at the size of that cat. <laughs> michito, Michito, <laughs> a big animal. And the final picture that I have here. Chan, chan, chan. There you go. Okay, create your idea. When you have it, you can share it, okay? Teacher, what do you say? What do you say? Sala de belleza. Beauty salon. Beauty salon, thank you. Or the beauty parlor, but that is the most common is beauty salon or hair. Yeah, beauty salon is the most common one. It can be hairdresser, but hairdresser is the name of the person, right? It's the stylist. Olga Marleni, go ahead. She 
she <clears throat> she wore in the beauty salon because she had the party of graduation in the night. She has a graduation party in the night, right? That it's going to be for sure with her friend and the band and the mariachis. And here we are going to also have uh, a lot of people dancing, right? In the party. <laughs> she has a party today at night. Can you give me more details about this picture? When she goes to the uh -huh. Oh, Carita, se me trabó su audio. Um, y ese es el secreto that. del amor. No, pero I didn't listen. <laughs> se me trabó su audio y no lo escuché. Ah, perdón. Eh, no, decía eh, que when she, when she goes to the beauty salon, she is very happy and looks very relaxed. Yes, she looks, she looks indeed very relaxed. Look at that face. Claudia Maria, tell me. The microphone, Claudita. He is Francis because he is very happy because he opened a new beauty salon in this week. So he's enjoying her, her, his job every day. Very good, right? So I am pretty closing of the end. Okay, okay, good. Good, Omar. Okay, I got your message. So he just opened his new salon and he is getting new clients. He is very happy. Uh, I see he enjoy his work. He is enjoying his work. Yeah. This is this is one of your classmates. Who is she? This is one of your classmates. Really? Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Diana. <laughs> and Diana. And what is Diana doing? She's singing. She's singing. She's singing. Singing karaoke. In a a restaurant. Selena song. A Selena song. <laughs> okay. Como la flor. Okay. What about this one? Who's she? She's one Tatiana. of your classmates. Yes, I am. I think I am. Ivette. Okay, Ivette. Ivette said that, that she's the one in the picture. Why, Ivette? In this moment, uh, I crushed my hand. Eric. <laughs> she She's has a headache. headache. She always has a headache. She always has a headache. Uh, a headache, yes. Obviously, uh, I have a headache, but in this moment, I crushed my hand. <laughs> oh, my God. You crushed your hand with and what? Really, and I'm really pain. Really? How? On, on a construction with, or something? Uh, when a table in this moment uh, i sent a message oh my god let me see let me see hey oh my god Ay, Ivette, mm -hmm. my god se me agarró la mano como una mesa oh my goodness Ay, Ivette. okay i hope you feel fine i hope you feel better okay put I some pain. i imagine put some copper in this moment Okay, <laughs> if I imagine, I will be crying. I will be crying right now. Who's he? He is from the class as well. Who's he? Jorge. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> but you are an actor. George, George is presenting. <laughs> George. Like of the Principito. <laughs> The, well, that's one of my favorite books, so I I, I don't have to say much, right? George well, is acting. Maybe George? he is, uh -huh. he's acting Ro he, Romeo and Julieta. George, <laughs> is in the, George is in the theater. Okay, George is in the theater, right? He's acting Romeo and Juliet. What about, uh, let me see, I show you this one, this one, Carnita, the one of the blood pressure, the cat. And who's she? 
Jorge, Jorge está. <laughs> oh, she's a, <laughs> it's, a girl. Oh, it's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a Jorge. No problem. Es que Jorge iba Jorge. atrás de, atrás de ella, wife. iba en otra bici. Did you wife, yes. <laughs> so who's she? Rosita, Rosa Beatriz. What is Rosa Beatriz doing? Cycling. She's cycling, right? She's exercising. What about this one? Who's she? The teacher. <laughs> yes, he's the teacher. The Me teacher. Again. Me again. Shopping. She's shopping. She's shopping. No, this this looks like Tatiana. Look at she has black hair. I mean, she no, teacher, I don't know. It's have... warmer clothes. Is my... Well, I bet, I bet yeah. is shopping, right? She's a shopaholic. Okay, yeah. she has a passion for shopping. What about yeah. this one? Who's he? George. <laughs> George is very famous. No, Manuel. Parece. He is Juan de Dios, teacher. Juan de, Juan de Dios. Dios. José Carlos. No, Manuel. Se parece Eso. más a Manuel. Look at Manuel. What is Manuel doing in el Mahual? He mean. Yo in vacation. Yeah. In bikini. Yes, in my last vacation. In a bikini. Yes. Very, very in shape, right? He's in shape. Let me see. I have here. Who's he? George, too. George. <laughs> Juan de Dios. This is Juan de Dios. Oh, look at, it looks like Juan de Dios. It Danny looks Anthony. Like, it looks like Danny Anthony. Yeah, but yes. <laughs> Danny. Danny, Danny. It looks like, like Danny. In, in the Alps. He's there. Jorge, they say. What about this one? Jorge. Jorge. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Nelson. This is Mr. Nelson. <laughs> Painting. Yes. Nelson. Look at Mr. Nelson. Yeah. Look at You're, Mr. Nelson. You're right. Is... Uh -huh. Everyone said Jorge, so... <laughs> All, all of you are Jorge, right? Uh-huh. What about that? Todos somos Jorge. Jorge is Manuel. This is Manuel. Look at Manuel. It's Manuel. Watch your machine. I can use. I can use. Yeah. Okay. Wash this hand. Is, what is Manuel Wash doing? My hand. Wash he, his washing. clothes. He's washing, washing, washing his clothes. Washing his clothes. Washing his clothes. And the last one that I have here. Juan de Dios. <laughs> Juan de Dios. Jorge. Juan de Dios. <laughs> oh, so, hashtag Nelson. So, so Jorge. Nelson. George is planting. I love the flowers. <laughs> oh, Juan loves the flowers. So it's Juan, right? It's Juan. Very good job. So Juan is planting flowers, right? Omar, Omar is. Uh -huh. And this one. <laughs> Uh, that's not George. <laughs> that's not George. <laughs> Hashtag Toso Mori. <laughs> He's not here. Okay, very, good. Very famous teacher. You see, that was a very good moment for you to get rid of stress. Ya ven, a todos se le fue el estrés del día. Ahí riéndose del prójimo. Todo muñeco que le enseño, Jorge. Jorge. Ah, <laughs> no. What about? Todos somos Jorge. Manuel Francisco, teacher. Manuel. Jose Carlos. Jose Carlos. Okay. Okay, my dear. I was like, what? Jose Carlos. Okay. Pónganlo. Mire. Igual. Jose Carlos. Jose Carlos. He has. He has a stomach cake, right? He has a stomach cake. Good. Excellent, my dear class. What a beautiful way to start this session for you to create, produce, and, and to have fun at the moment of creating original English, right? Teacher, that is, it's time to attendance. 
that's right now what I am going to do. Very good job. I'm going to call the attendance for us to go over the topic. And remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present. I am going to eliminate my camera because uh, if not, I am going to be the only one here. So let's go here. I am going to start with Miss Carolina Jamilet. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria. Present. Christian Natalie. Present. Diana Elizabeth. Teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Carlos. Teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo, Jose Rodrigo. Not here. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Ivette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present. Nelson Gavarreta. Present. Thank you. I'm here, Miss. Norma Carolina. Thank you. Present teacher. Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Thank you. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Zuleima. Present. Thank you. And let me see. Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Vilma Ivette. Present. Marlene Nicole. And Omar Francisco. Omar is Present right teacher. here. Thank you very much. And Danny Anthony. That he is here and it says connecting with the audio as well. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for answering the attendance. Okay, let's go and move on business. Okay. 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 Thank you, yo soy un amor. Well, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, yo dije, ah, qué bonito. Dije, yo, yo. <laughs> Oh um, todos, aquí todos somos Jorge. Ah, no. <laughs> todos somos un amor. Hashtag, todos somos Jorge. That would be the hashtag, the hashtag of the week. Well, so as I told you, we're going to continue working with when and if, right? The different clauses. We did some highlights about your day before. And for sure, we were covering the things that we started yesterday. And we called the attendance as well. Well, so... This is an activity that we are going to prepare and we are going to have it ready, hopefully, for tomorrow because it needs a little bit of a um, moment. It's a little bit of a thinking time, right? I need you to analyze it, to create it as well, and for you to have it ready. And if I ask, it, if I ask you to do it right now, maybe you are not going to do it in your full potential, right? When you introduce yourself, right? I sent you the video of this structure. When you introduce yourself, you have to think on a seat and you're going to tell me, teacher, why am I going to think on a chair? Why am I going to think on a, on, on a sofa or something to sit? No, the strategy of seat means that when you want to introduce yourself in an interview, in a project, in, in, in whatever thing that you are doing in an evaluation, in whatever uh, project that you have with English, the most common thing when I say, introduce yourself. What do you normally do? My name is Nati. I am 37 years old. I am from El Salvador. I am a teacher. That's the only thing that you say. But when you think about this structure, the seat structure, you introduce yourself in a perfect way, right? You go beyond the expectations of the listener and you express your skills and qualities, your experience and education, your achievements and the type of person you are, right? You go beyond on the explanation. You don't say, ah, my name is Natalie. I, I was born in Santa Ana. Yeah, and I am a happy teacher. Thank you. That is just a basic things, right? But when you want to give a very nice impression, when you want to stay in, uh, in the good memory of the, of the listener and, and the person is going to say, hey, 
I, in, I interviewed a person and he gave me a very nice introduction, right? Not with basic English. And he went a little bit beyond on what we ask for this, right? You have to think on the SIT strategy, on the SIT structure for skills, experience, achievements, and the type of person you are. So the first thing that we are going to do tomorrow when we start the class is that you are going to introduce yourselves. But you are going to introduce yourselves in a way that I am going to remember what you are going to say. Not only to say, I am Jorge, and I am an engineer, and I live in El Salvador. That would be like, ah, oh, yeah, okay. But maybe I need to listen about his skills his qualities, his abilities, his experience, a little bit of his education, a little bit of his achievements, and a little bit of the type of person he is, right? Do you remember the first day when I met you that I introduced myself a little bit with a picture? ¿Se recuerdan el primer día que me presenté con ustedes, que les puse una foto y les puse como todo lo, lo, lo concerniente a, a este humano que tienen aquí enfrente? And I was giving you specific things about me. Right, the different skills, the qualities that I have, the type of experience that I have, the education. In brief, right? You don't need to give me, uh, like for example, in 1998, I went to kindergarten. Yeah, teacher Maria was my first teacher. In first grade, I remember that I learned to color. In second grade, no. It's something, a brief experience of the top things about your education, right? The top things about your achievements and for sure the type of person you are. So you say, I am a very passionate person. I am a very dedicated person. I am a high achiever, right? I really love to do the things in a different level. I love to raise the bar on everything that I do. On the video, there are three examples, right? On the video that I send you about this strategy, there are three examples for you to follow any of the three ideas, okay? skills, experience, achievements, and the type of person you are. Tomorrow, that will be the first thing we're going to do in class after the general, right? And the attendance, you are going to introduce yourselves, right? Then that is going to help me to push you a little bit higher on your use of English, right? And not to stay in the basic things, right? In the basic answers, right? Because maybe later when they uh, know that you have a level of English, they are going to say, bueno, lo vamos a evaluar, a ver cómo va con su inglés. Right? Maybe at your job, we never know. Quien quita y un día de estos en el trabajo les digan, mire, lo vamos a evaluar y si sale bien en evaluación, vamos a subir ahí de nivel. Porque está aprendiendo inglés. We never know. So we need to be ready for everything. It's like, ¿para qué se echa perfume para ir a la tienda? We never know. <laughs> it's the same with English. Okay? You have to be ready for everything. So keep it in mind. Try to check a little bit on the video that I sent. The, on the video that I, uh, I chose for this, it includes three examples as well. And it explains a little bit more in detail about how to introduce yourself in a professional way. Okay, this is going to be something that we are going to do tomorrow in class so please have it ready it is not like i have homework and it's an obligation it is for you to improve your skills okay it is for you to improve your abilities in the english language okay that will be for tomorrow and you have a video to support this part of the class i have here two pictures tell me in brief what are some differences about them the picture in the right corner. Uh, the plane teacher. There is a plane. There is a plane in the first picture. <clears throat> and the second one is not the it's not the, the airplane. The color of the apple. The hour on the clock. The, the plants on the table. The plants, good. The plants, the apple, the, the color clock. Of, the color of her of his cell phone. The color of his cell phone is different. Good. What else? The color of the this plant. The coffee. Yeah. The, 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 the coffee. Hey. 
<laughs> yes, the coffee is different. <laughs> wow, yes. The, coffee, second picture, the, the boss, color of the, the boss boss is different position. The, the, the boss. Plan. Yes, different, different position in, the, in the her color. hair. The hair. Her hair. The mustache is easy. <laughs> the mustache, <laughs> right? Yes. The different than chair. Okay, different uh, the building. The, the chair the, is different, the buildings are the different. Okay. Chair. Yes, the Mercedes. building is different. Have a roller. The color of her the, the plant, the her color of the corbat. <laughs> the color of the tie, mm -hmm. right? The tie. As in, I have as I have around the, the, the fly the in the sky. The, the fly is different. Okay, the plant, the, plant. the flower pot, la maceta, <laughs> the flower, flower pot. Okay, flower. as I have 30 differences, I am going to ask one by one. Jorge, give me one. La que diga Jorge, ya no la pueden repetir. Ajá, Jorge. The picture in the cor right corner, upper corner. Ajá. The picture okay. is different. The picture is different. Okay, Jorge says that the pictures are different. Okay, Juan de Dios. The time in the clock. The time in the clock. Good. Manuel. Uh, the, the plane. The airplane. Good. Very good. Airplane. Min, Miguel Angel. Uh, the, the cactus. Uh, okay. The cactus. Cactus. Fishes, cactus. Cactus. Oh, the cactus on the table. Well, they are pens. They are pens, but that's okay. <laughs> Son lápices. Son lápices, pero va, se vale. Let's see. Yes? Teacher, the pants are different color. The pants. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These ones are blue and these ones are green. Okay. What about Diana? The color of the cell phone. The color of the cell phone. Good. Very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go with Tatiana. Uh, uh, on, the, on the table are, I don't know what is the, the, the something color yellow and the other is color red. I don't know what is that. It's an apple. An apple. An apple. Uh, Christia. Ah, okay. Uh, in the first picture, uh, are uh, more books. Uh -huh. There are more books, right? We are missing here one yes. book, right? This book is missing. Very good. Rosa Beatriz. Rosita. I can find a note. Hey, my God. Look at, um, look at this man. What is the difference, Rosa, with this one? Uh -huh. Mi internet ha muerto. I am, I am bad. She don't pay the bill. Hey, hey, hey hombre. She is doing the exercise alone. She doesn't pay. Ahorita acabo de ir a pagar, ya vi. The most of... The mustache. Mustache. The hair of the... Right, the chair of the lady. Chair. Yes, the roll. Yeah. Yeah. ¿Quién es usted que hizo con mi teacher? <laughs> the, the what? The sleeves of the, the coat. Oh, the sleeves, right, for yes. sure. This is a vest. Yeah. This is a vest, and the other one is a shirt, a, a jacket. Okay, the sleeves. The what else? Pot. The, 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 the color of the flower. Pot. The flower the pot. The, La pajilla del barco in the building. This one, the, right? The, the, time, the, the, the time of the men. The antenna in the building. 
The antenna on the building, yes, this one is missing, right? The position the first of the picture. bus. The hair. The position. The position of the bus. Yeah. That he's In the first picture, glasses. she is smiling. The plan, different the plans. The plans are different. She's uh, smiling here and she's angry here. It's like, yeah. here, <laughs> antes del cierre y después del cierre. And the plan. <laughs> the glasses. All of the hair. One of them. The glasses. The color of the glasses, yes. The color the of, color the pan. of his suit. The, the shade of the lady. The, the color, okay, the color of the suit. Of the suit. The tie of the, the men's. Color. Different, are the different. Color of the pan. yeah. The other ones too. Different color, right? And this the one. Chair of the lady. The chair of the lady is different, she right? Up. Yes. <laughs> she broke the legs. <laughs> there you go. And, no, and the, 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 almuerzo, y de the pants. The notebook. The notebook has. Yes. Yes. has yes. The notebook is different. The notebook yes. is different, right? The notebook has the information here. Yes. And the, the other one has of them. The color and the of other them. also. And the other one. The, the other. The other two. book. She has the other. The chair. The chair is different. Okay. Teacher, I mean the, the other chair. The other lady. The other lady. The oh yeah, she's missing. Yes, yes, very good. So you see, we have the a lot of difference. Of the color color of the hair of the lady, right? This the, color the is black, the black man start to write. Ah, yeah, he started to the black man. <laughs> the, <laughs> no, don't say that. The 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 the, the, Afri the, the African color, the African American person. Sorry, el respaldo de la silla, teacher, no sé cómo se dice. The back of Ahí. the chair. Which yes, one? Yes, eh, el. This one. Eh, la otra, la siguiente. This one. Ah, yes, yes. That. yes. Yes, yes, yes. There yes. are Andres. Hey, it's true. Very good. So you see, and that ya no hay más teacher. And we had 30 differences there. I I, I really want the what is class. the last teacher? I'm sorry. What is the, the last the armchair? Aquí. Teacher. Oh teacher, the window okay. in of the building are different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the windows. There are, there are more windows, right? More windows, yes more windows yes and i think the curtain is the same right and those were the differences one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen eighteen eight. the head the head of the man in the middle is different in, pos in different positions yeah he's looking here and here right yes but we got the 30 differences. Very good job, my dear students. Hoy les puse a trabajar el, el, el lado de detalle. Right? I wanted you to pay attention to details. To details. Good. Great. So after this exercise of your brain, right, we're going to go over what we were doing yesterday. Right? Yesterday, we were discussing let me erase everything we were discussing a couple of questions right about the environment and you were working also on completing the different sentences with the transitional words and we introduced the topic of the if clauses right yes. we were talking about the use of if the use of when when uh, you have different sentences right and you use them for you to predict what is going on if something happens. You use when, when you are completely sure that it is going to have a result. And if, when you are trying to see what it's going to be the result of the action that it's taking place. Okay, I was telling you yesterday that when suggests that something will definitely happen. And if that you don't know, but you feel that something is going to happen, right? And I have some examples here. I have some examples that we are going to work with if and with when. And here we have the, uh, the sentence that we are going to use on each of them. There are five examples, right? There are five examples. And as we were checking on this one, I am going to go back with the example for you to, to check it out. And the example goes like this. When there are inaccurate purchase orders, customer satisfaction will be compromised. 
or customer satisfaction will be compromised when there are inaccurate purchase orders. Or with if, if there is a lack of communication between employees, productivity will decrease. Productivity will decrease if there is a lack of communication between employees, right? So we have to use in this case, if or when on the sentences. And here we have one example. Vamos a hacer la primera juntos y ustedes van a hacer las otras cuatro. Tenemos, the organization of the dog is bad. Time is wasted over unnecessary tasks. And you have when. So for sure, as we are going to start the sentence with when, and it says when the organization, when the organization of the dog is bad, Time, time will be wasted over unnecessary things. Unnecessary tasks. Okay, I am going to leave the first sentence here. And I am going to move it up a little bit. Okay, for you to check it. When the organization of the dog is bad, time will be wasted over unnecessary tasks. Or you can say, time will be wasted over unnecessary tasks when the organization of the dog is bad. That is the first example. What about example number two, three, four, and five? Write them down and then we are going to check them, okay? I did the first one. I need you to do the other four sentences. Remember the structure, right? You have to include if, when, when, and if. Write the sentences, please. If you have the chance and you are in the computer, you can send it on the chat as well so we can check uh, ram grammar and writing. Done. Okay, so if you want, you can send them on the chat and we can check them. You can write them on the 
Oh, you have them on the notebook? That's good. Juan de Dios, give me number two. Two is when the financial department sends in a quarter report, monkey will be lost. Money? Money, money, sorry. <laughs> No va a perder el mono. I read monkey. <laughs> but you have to use if. You have to use if. Aquí está la okay. palabra que tienen que ocupar. Aquí. Aquí al final. Oh, sorry. The monkey. <laughs> no, the, the monkey. Yeah, but they, that's correct as well. La, ambas pueden ser porque aquí aplica. ¿ver? When the financial department sends inaccurate reports, money will be lost. Right? Both of them apply. But in the exercise, you have to use with, if. You have to change only the first word. How will it be with if? ¿Cómo queda con if? Veamos. If the financial, if the department. financial department sends in accurate reports, the money will be lost. Money will be lost, right? Money will be lost. Inaccurate, right? Inaccurate reports. Inaccurate. Inaccurate report. Inaccurate, like que son inconsistentes, que son inadecuados. Inaccurate reports. What about number three? When? When the warehouse space is limited, there's, bueno, ahí va la coma. Uh -huh, but you say the, in the future, there will be, there will be a disorganization. Okay, when the warehouse space is limited, there will be disorganization, right? There will be disorganization. What about number four? When the employees when... box and counts items, times will be wasted. Okay, when the employees open boxes and count items, time will be wasted, right? Okay, what about number five? If there is lack of communication between employees, the time will to fill order increases. Will increase. will increase. Okay, will increase because if you use will, you don't use S anymore, right? There is a lack, if there is lack of communication between employees, the time to fulfill the orders, to fulfill orders will increase, right? You erase the S because in that case you use the future. Cuando ya usamos el future con will or going to, el verbo ya se va en la forma normal para todos los subjects, okay? In this case, it's like, uh, if there is lack of communication between empo employees, the time to fulfill orders will increase. Or the time will increase if there is lack of communication between employees. Right? You can have both forms in this case. Excellent job, my dear class. Very good, very good job. And I have a couple of more examples about this topic, right? I have here this one, and this one is uh, in general, we are going to work on this ones as a group. And here we have two, four, six, eight, nine situations. And it says, what will you do if you can sleep tonight? If your TV breaks next week, what will you do? How will you feel if you fail the next test? If you get lots of homework, how will you feel? What will your teacher say if you are late tomorrow? If you feel bored next Saturday, what will you do? What will you eat if you are hungry at midnight tonight? If you want to relax after class, what will you watch on TV? And what medicine will you take if you catch a cold? Achoo. 
next week. Okay, there you have, I have two, four, six, eight, nine situations. Let's uh, take advantage of the time and choose two situations. Choose two or three, right? Let's say three, tenemos nueve. Choose three and complete the answers. These are open answers, right? What are you going to do? What will you do if you, ca if you can't sleep tonight? For example, if I can't sleep tonight, I will uh, watch movies. If I can't sleep tonight, I will call my friend. If I can't sleep tonight, I will uh, go and clean the house. What are you going to do if you can't sleep tonight? Watch TV. Okay, you say like, if I can't sleep tonight, I will watch TV. Right, remember the structure. Okay, todos vamos a ir a vagar ahí con el, con el perrito. So you see, if you can't sleep tonight, Nelson is going to go out with the dog. He's going to go walking. So choose three situations and give me your answers. Remember to use the structure, right? What is the structure that we need to use? If and will in the second sentence or uh, on the contrary, but in this case, it's like, if I get a lot of homework, I will feel overloaded. I will feel stressed. I will feel, uh, I don't know, angry. If you get a lot of homework for vacation, I will feel frustrated because I don't want to do homework on vacation. Choose three situations. Sorry, teacher. I have problem with the internet. I don't know. What... Okay. In this case, we I am presenting uh, nine different examples of sentences with uh, the clauses with if. And I need you to choose three of them and to give me the answer of each of the situations. I was giving some examples about number one. What will you do if you can't sleep tonight? And I say, if I can't sleep tonight, I am going to clean the house. If I can't sleep tonight, I will call my mother. Right? Again. I don't hear, I don't hear you. Ese es el secreto del amor problems. eterno. I have problems with the internet. Me too. <laughs> okay. Now, can you listen to me? Yeah. Oh, I see. So, I need you to complement three of them. Vamos a hacerlo así como rápido y breve. Escoja tres y las complementa con su eh, respuesta. ¿Qué haría hoy si no puede dormir en la noche? If I can't sleep tonight, I will, y me pone su respuesta. I will watch TV, I will listen to music, I will clean, I will watch Netflix, I will watch TikTok, I will check WhatsApp. Remember the use of if and will. Okay. Yes? Good. Ya voy a poner una demanda aquí a este mi internet. My goodness. Okay. I am going to create the groups meanwhile, and you are going to go and share your answers with your friends. Let me create the groups. And I have six examples. If there will be lack of communication between the time before. Ah, good. Thank you, Carolina. I received the sentences on the chat. Also, Jose Carlos and Claudia Maria and Omar. 
Okay, very good. Okay, en el caso este de las oraciones, Carolina, las que me envió al chat, aquí tenemos, if the financial department sends inaccurate reports, money will be lost. Esa está correcta. When the warehouse space is limited, there will be disorganization. Está correcta. Disorganization, con I. When the employees open boxes and count items, time will be wasted. Good. If there will be lack of communication. Ahí nos equivocamos porque no podemos poner if there will. If there is lack of communication between employees, the time to fulfill orders will increase. Hasta ahí ocupamos will. Okay. Ah, okay. Ahí hacemos el, el cambio. You, okay, you're welcome. Okay, people, I have the groups and we are going to go and share. Okay. I have only three groups. So for all of you to share your ideas. ¿Tenemos las oraciones listas? Yes or no? No yet, teacher. No yet. Rocío Verónica, tell me. I can write. Okay. <laughs> I have my sentences done. I have my sentences. Ah, okay, your sentence. Okay. Yes. I can write, teacher. Ah, but you can have, but do you have the idea? ¿Ya tienes la idea de, de tus respuestas? Uh, I hope. <laughs> okay, I am going to send the situations on the chat. So if you don't have them, if you, if you didn't copy them, maybe we can have them there as well, okay? Okay. I am going to send them there on the chat, on the WhatsApp group for you to have, them. okay? So let's go to the groups and I need you to share. I need you to share on the different answers that you chose, okay? I am going to open the groups right now. I am going to create only three groups, three groups to work, okay? Let's go and share with the groups. There you go. Okay, Norma, Dani, Suley. I don't know if you have received my invitation. Silvia, have you received my invitation for the groups? Hello. Normita, I don't know if you have received my invitation. Silvia. Teacher, mi internet no sirve. Estoy cada vez que voy a entrar me saca. Oh. Así que voy a trabajar solo porque no me sirve para nada. Ok, entonces compártamelas a mí. <ríe> porque no, Normita no se me puede mover de... Normita no se me puede mover de grupo tampoco. Ahorita sí ya. Y Dani me sale conectando, conectando, conectando y no me conecta. No. Ok, sirve. So if you want, I'm going to keep on, 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 on completing the sentences, trate de completarlas en lo que voy a revisar los grupos y vuelvo y me las tiene listas, ¿ok? And I will watch TV and fall, fall asleep. And what medicine will you take if you catch a cold next week? 
Well, I will drink lemonade with honey and I'll spread big on my chest. <laughs> big. The good yes. big. Good, good, very good. Big oh, is the yeah. result for everything. Big vaporu and viro grip and palagrip also. <laughs> Ya, yeah, ellos no nos pagan nada por estos comerciales en inglés corporativo. <laughs> uh -huh, what about the rest? Sure, I think you are like una promotora. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Don't say anything. ¿Cómo va a creer que yo me voy a dejar vencer que me quisieron pagar por venir a promocionar para la grip la mejor pastilla? <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, but if, well... Uh, what medicine will you take if you put mute? Hey, then do you put it on mute? I am sorry, but uh, what medicine will you take if you catch a call next week? Next week, if I catch a call, uh, I will take palagrip or maybe virogrip <laughs> because. It's the only, it's the only thing, it's right? The only yeah. thing for me. Be, because the only, the, the only thing it's like, okay, right? It's not that I am promoting it, but uh, you, you need me to neither, use it. But, but it, <laughs> it's useful <laughs> for me. It's useful. It's very useful. Okay, continue working on your answers. I'm going to go and check the other ones, what they are doing. I will come back in a second. Boo. Okay. The next one, Carolina. Okay, in my case, uh, number one, what will, what will you do if you can sleep tonight? Uh, if I can't sleep, uh, I start writing and some I get sleepy. Good, uh, very good too. Number two, if your TV break next week, what will you do? If my TV breaks, I use my phone. Um, Solutions, right? Only, yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, only that. Only that, good. Hmm. Okay. The next one. I uh, will. I take um, the other medicine, the other medicine, for example, I can uh, take uh, antifludes. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, <laughs> me too, it is, it's better. It's better. Or yeah. palagrip. There is one, yeah. there is one that it's called IRS, right? IRS. It's a very good thing for, for the flu. Oh, okay. Ya. No me pagan I, nada. I, ¿Cómo, I ¿Cómo iba a aceptar ese dinero por hacer la, la ¿cómo se llama? Publicidad, yeah. esa pastilla que yo, es buenísima. Y yo no paso, yes, y yo que no paso de acetaminofén. No. Yeah. La milagrosa. Antifluid. Antifluid is good. Antifluid is, it's there very is good. A, what there is, is the name? There is other, other medicines. Ah, yes. IRS. En IRS es la que yo le digo. IRS. Y la otra es antifludes. Hay otra anti uh, uh, más fuerte que antifludes, se llama. Eh, yeah, uh, I mean, if, if you can, uh, which one? Sí, creo que es X, X flood compuesto, algo así. Oh my God. Sí, oh. Una, sí hay una amiga que trabaja en la, right. la farmacia. Es antifludes recargado. <laughs> Recharge. <laughs> y luego. <laughs> No, es serio. Hay otra es la otra, teacher. I can, no, I can. it's good. It's good. Let me, let me, let me search <laughs> the name. I can take uh, Okay. Virus. Oh, that's why. Well, I, I am very bad at taking any type of medicine for the flu. Because mm -hmm. even if it is just a little pill uh, in a second, I am like... <sighs> I, uh, I, I am I am very ex sensible to ex flu multisymptomas. My goodness, ex flu. Yes. I have never heard about that one, ex but I, I am going to. How can I say this is the last medicine I get for the cold? 
I got it. It's very effective. Yes. Teacher? Yes, very effective. Uh, Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Yvette, what did you say? How can I say tachycardia? Um, well, tachycardia, I think it's, <clears throat> it's a heartbeat. Heartbeat. Uh, viral rhythm means uh, uh, fast <laughs> heartbeat. Yes. Fast heartbeat. But I think tachycardia is the same thing. Let me just check it out, right? No, I, I fall asleep with any other medicine for the flu. Yeah, I remember that I, I was in high school and I said, this little chlorpheniramine is not going to do anything to me. And it was as it was in, in, in syrup. And then I said, like, ah, ah, a little piece, a little piece. A little, and then I took like half of the bottle and I fell asleep over the computer. <laughs> and my mother was yeah, my mother was worried because she said that I was not responding back and I was like like death over the computer. <laughs> was, asleep, you get asleep. No, and and I get I get I fall asleep easily. Yeah, tachycardia is the same in English or in Spanish. So Tachycardia. Okay, tachycardia and tachycardia is the same thing. Okay, let's go back, my dear class. Let's go back to the group. Hello, good evening. Yo vi que se me desconectó, Normita, ¿qué pasó? No me podía conectar, teacher, lo usé. No. Estoy usando tu dispositivo. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you, thank you, you're back. And I got very good pieces of advice on medicine for the flu. You are very good doctors. In all the groups, I got very good uh, pieces of advice about what to use if you get the flu. And for sure, my friend Viva Poru was also present there. I, I don't really like the smell of Big Vaporu. I don't like it. It's like, it's too strong for me. I like. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, I like it. It's wonderful for the migrants. For the migrants is good. I mean, you put a little bit here and then yeah. it works very well for yes, the migraine. The smell. The smell. <laughs> Good for COVID. Uh, the veins. Good. Yeah, for the veins, it opens the vessels. Wow. Yes. Is, the, is the best for kids? Yes, for the kids. What I do is that I put it's it on the effective. on the on their feet. I put it on his on his feet and it works very well. Se lo pongo en sus piecitos y calcetín and then. Yeah. And then ready for the day. Let me see. I got very good examples. Tell me, who answered question number four? If you get lots of homework, any of you? Alguien que haya contestado eso? If you get lots of homework? Yes, teacher. What is it? If you get lots of homework, how will you feel? I, I will be sad because I will lose the module. <laughs> If I, I will be sad because I will lose the module, right? What about the first one? What will you do if you can't sleep tonight? What will you do if you can't sleep tonight? I will prepare a chamomile tea. I will prepare a chamomile tea, right? Te de manzanilla. A chamomile tea. Very good. Another one. Diana, what will you do if you can't sleep tonight? If I can sleep tonight, I will watch a TV show. I will take watch a sleeping pill. <laughs> okay, and take a sleep a sleeping pill. Get get and the Netflix. get the algebra. Get the <laughs> algebra and read a couple of pages, and then you will fall asleep. <laughs> if you are going to have nightmares, I will can't, I will can't sleep. <laughs> teacher. I I, I, I I will I, study English, teacher. Hey. <laughs> Come on. No, but, because well, I, I, I will I will do the platform. 
<laughs> to take advantage of the time, right? Aha, uh -huh. good, 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 good. That is the reason. Please. That is the reason, aha, uh -huh. not to fall asleep. Platform. I will finish the platform for intermedio cuatro, cinco, avanzado, uno y dos. Like. I say one, two, no, four, five, no, knowledge. Yeah, to increase the, your knowledge. The, 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 the module number five. No, it, you go for avanzado uno. <laughs> Good. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. If your TV breaks, what will you do? Carolina has a very good answer for this one. Carolina, if your TV breaks yeah. next week, what will you do? If your TV breaks next week, ah, what will TV. you do? Um, if I feel bored, uh, then I go to sleep or watch TV. No, but what about the second one? If your TV breaks... Ah, second. <laughs> <laughs> Second, <laughs> perdón. Eh, eh, if my if my TV breaks, I uh, use my phone. I will use my phone, right? Yeah. <laughs> I will use my phone because I have everything there. Nothing right? happens. Nothing happens, right? Nothing happens. Let me see. If you feel bored next Saturday, Linda, what will you do? If you feel okay. bored. Um... Uh, well, I will go to cinema maybe, and after that I will eat. Okay, I will go to the cinema pupusas and then for dinner. I will eat pupusas for dinner. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's a very good plan. Let's see. If you feel bored, if you feel bored, Claudia, what will you do? Hey, yeah, Claudia Maria. If you feel bored next Saturday, what will you do? Claudita Maria, Claudita Maria. A la una, a la dos, a las tres. Olga Marlene. Okay, if I feel bored. If I feel bored next Saturday, I will, I will, uh, watch watch TV. <laughs> you will watch TV. But what happens if your TV breaks? Uh -huh. I will go to the mountain, teacher. <laughs> I will go to the mountain. And what happens if it rains? I have a cup. I will no go to the... To the beach. The beach. Uh -huh. <laughs> If, no, but you are in the mountain. You are in the mountain. And he says that he has a cup. And what about if you forget the cup at home? Then I will put a bath on, on my I will, head. I will be wor worried. I will be worried. I am super selectus, but on your head. Okay, good. I will be worried, you say. Let's see. The last question, what will, what medicine will you take if you catch a cold next week? I will take a Viro Grip. Viro Grip. Who gives more, right? Viro Grip. Pala Grip. Pala Grip. I will Tuda take grip. natural. <laughs> natural. <laughs> natural medicine, right? Natural uh -huh. medicine. Good, very good. Nadie nos paga nada por estos comerciales. Okay, good. Hay lemons. Five lemon, five lemon salt and honey. No, that's another, that's another recipe. Okay. Ya le estaba poniendo. Ya le estaba poniendo limón y sal a la orilla del vaso. That's another medicine. This is Suprema. It's like good, yes. Ay, mamá, esta no era la medicina. But I feel good, better. But I feel good. I, <laughs> I forgot about the cold, right? I forgot about the cold. No, it's 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 not going to be the medicine. Well, I have here just a the couple of sentences, but they are incomplete, right? And I have one example. The first one is not real because I never get angry, right? It's very strange that I get angry. If we don't arrive on time, our teacher will be angry. Hmm. If I will watch TV if I have time. If he gets up at five o'clock, 
What do you think it will happen? If he gets up at five o'clock? He will he arrive, arrive on time. Five first. Five first. He, he will be on sleep. time. He will be. He will be sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> he will be sleepy at nine in the morning. <laughs> he will be sleeping at maybe I eh? I am. <laughs> he will be sleeping on the coaster, yeah. right? <laughs> if he gets up at five o'clock, he will be on time. Number he four. Hungry early. He will be hungry at seven, right? Or at six. On the chat, on the WhatsApp. Okay, si estamos en WhatsApp, hay en WhatsApp, sino en el chat de, de Zoom. We will be hungry. Send me the answer. We will be hungry. Send me if the answer. If I work late. If, if I work the, late. Uh -huh. If the election of the Salvador lost again. <laughs> hungry. Uh, hungry. Uh, hungry. Uh, <laughs> It's Wednesday in English. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I speak, sir. Okay. I, um, angry. I is... prefer a I little sister. I will ask for hashtag. little sister. Okay. Hashtag those are more. I prefer a pepito teacher. <laughs> a a pepito. Pizza we will be hungry. We will be hungry if. We don't eat breakfast. Okay. Okay, you just give me one second. I'm going to. Okay. Ya todos nos encanta el chame. Todos ya iban así oyendo. Ajá. We will be hungry. Y recuerden que si aquí tenemos la forma de will, necesitamos la, eh, la conditional, right? We will be hungry if. If we work at night. If we work at night. Right? So, que después de clase, gran hambre. If we work at night, another option? If we don't take our dinner on time? If we don't take dinner on time, right? If we don't take dinner early. Before if we dinner. have if, to take If we play to make diet. Si jugamos a hacer dieta, teacher. If we play to make a diet. <laughs> yeah, if because. We take English class at night. <laughs> well, yes, I I don't say anything for you to eat, so it's not my fault. Yo no los regaño porque coman, ya. Yeah. Los regaño porque no me ponen la cámara y no me participan, pero porque coman, no. Okay. If we don't take dinner before class, if the phone rings, I will answer. Answer. I will answer. Uh -huh. Is it del bank? I don't answer. I will ignore. I will answer. Dismiss the call. I hang out. I hang out. No response. He will dismiss the call. He will be like, ah. Wrong number. He's like, what, Manuel, what? No, 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 yo cambié el número. Yes, because todos somos Jorge. <laughs> todos somos Jorge. Okay. I will laugh. I will laugh. If you tell me a fun joke. If you tell me a fun, a fun joke. 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 Hey, if the kidding is good, if you are funny. <laughs> if you tell me a fun joke. Okay, if you are funny, <laughs> you're funny. But not funny as uh, laughing. Funny as weird. Funny as <laughs> weird too. I like that TikTok. I, I, will, I will laugh if you... Teacher, do you like TikTok a lot? I, I, I do. I do like TikToks. I, I, I well, my yes. my little kid and I love doing TikToks, but I think we just do it for fun, in private. Okay. Yeah, we you don't. know, you know all the all the TikToks. I, I, if you work with teenagers, you have to be on the game. If not, yes, I know that. I know that. Yeah, if not, they are going to be. Over you. Yo trabajo, miren todos los adolescentes que tengo aquí. I have to be on the game. If not, hmm, 
they are going to be joking and mocking at me. If, for example, isn't tomorrow, I will, I come will, to the class I I will, will sleep more. <laughs> I will be happy. I will have time. I will have study. time to. I will have time to study. <laughs> I will be in class, as they say. <laughs> so if we have exams, you don't come. Hmm. I will forget the answer. I will forget the answers. Ah, I need it to be tomorrow. Uh huh. They, I will. Uh -huh. I will be. I will. I will be on my bed. <laughs> I will be on my bed early, right? They won't buy a new car. They won't buy a new car if they don't have money. If they don't have if the money. It's, if it's too expensive. <laughs> if it is too expensive, very good. If they don't have the money or if it is too expensive, they won't buy a new car if it is too expensive, right? If it is expensive and we have the two options there. Very good job. If you hit me, I will hit you back. <laughs> I will and hit you. <laughs> and receive you your award. To, to the hospital. <laughs> you will be dead. I, I imagine Diana and I imagine Diana doing it for sure. I saw the teacher. You are a woman. Diana lost the patient. Patient. That's him. <laughs> The patients. If you hit me, I will hit you back. Yeah, yesterday right? no, uh, was talking. If you hit her, he will lose the, her patience. Above that, <laughs> he will lose her patience, right? Now, but uh, yeah, either either way, and even if you say no, no, teacher, no, it was not like that. Remember when you were little kids? Do you have brothers and sisters? Yes. Raise your hand if you have brothers or sisters. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What happened when you were a little kid and your brother was like, hm. what did you do? Hm. And then fighting <laughs> <Fine. laughs> mm -hmm. with your brother and your mother. Yes. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> I used to do that, right? Si mi hermano está viendo esta clase grabada. And that's otra cosa. If I will give you $10. If you pass the module, <laughs> if you pass the module, I don't promise if you, anything. If you work today, if you work today, right? If you pass the module, que que constancia de que yo no le voy a ir a dar dinero. If you if you do the platform, <laughs> if you finish the platform, <laughs> if you pass the module, right? I will give you ten dollars. What what is one thing that you will pay for you not to do? What is one thing that you will pay for you not to do? Wake up early. <laughs> to wake up early, yeah. I will pay money for people to wash my dishes because I hate to wash yeah. the dishes. And cloth, teacher. And, and well, the cloth, um, well, there's the washing machine, washing so. Machine. I hate to fold the clothes. <laughs> to fold clothes. Right. Yes, me too. Uh, me lavar, too. lavar ropa, media hora. Tender ropa, no, diez minutos. <laughs> Doblar la ropa de siete a dos meses. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. Well, you know, you know what I do? I put it on hangers. Ya lo pongo en ganchos. So I just take the hangers and put them in the closet. I That's left right. in the... How do you say? <laughs> in the wire. The very poor... <laughs> it has a robot. For a month. For two meses. Yeah, it has like a month there. <laughs> it, it's for it to be completely dry. Yes, because I remember what is the clothes. Or maybe if I want a jeans, I know I <laughs> it's on, there is there. It's on the party, all right. <laughs> okay, let me see. Yvette, what is one thing that you hate doing? One thing that you really hate doing, a housework or activity? Um, uh, wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. You're my team. Okay. I, we will pay $10 to wash the dishes. Juan de Dios. I hate wash the clothes. Wash, clothes. Washing clothes. Washing Diana, clothes. waking up early. Diana doesn't like to wake up early. Nah, 
José Carlos. Wake up early también, teacher. To wake up early. Manuel. Wake up late. Wake up early. You don't yes. like either. Tatiana. Ah, fold the clothes. <laughs> fold the clothes. Yes, teacher, but I hate to iron in the, the clothes. Iron in clothes, right? I don't like. I prefer that. <laughs> you prefer wash. ironing than washing. washing. Jorge, Jorge, what is something that you hate that you don't like? I don't like to wash the dishes. To um, wash the dishes. Besides, uh, iron the cloth. Ah, yeah. Besides, that... I don't like anything. <laughs> I don't like living. Oh, come on. I don't like exit. Diana, another patient. You don't like sleep. Another patient for Diana. I yeah. don't like doing anything. Doing anything. <laughs> Existing. <laughs> Christian, what is something that you don't like? I hate wake, wake early. Wake, wake up wake early. Wake up early. Olga Marlene? What is something that you hate? Washing the carpet. Washing the car. Well, but that that helps, right? Hoy que está lloviendo, just leave it out. <laughs> Don't worry. Linda y Beth. Okay, I don't like iron the clothes. Oh, to ironing teacher. clothes. No. No. Uh, Nelson, what is something that you hate? Hello. What is something that you hate? An activity that you hate. Uh, is the do is a take a bus? No? Uh, take take buses. Yes. Yeah, me too. I uh, hate. He, I hate that. He will. <laughs> I hear take take a bus. He he will a car. <laughs> okay, right. No, take the bus. Mostly when oh, you don't know the bus. Motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. That, that's good, right? I am very bad with the routes, and I always get confused. <laughs> Bañar like, el perro. How do you say bañar el perro? Shower the dog. Shower the dog. Shower the dog. Yeah, I hate that. Well, I, I, Kiara loves water, so I don't have a problem with that. Norma, what is something that you hate? Mm, wash pants. Uh, to wash pants or jeans. Or no, or the pants in the kitchen. Cacerola. Uh -huh. Cacerola. Ah, the, I hate that too. It's like, I hate it. To wash the pans or the casseroles. Well, the casserole, when you say casserole, it, you mean the dish, right? Es una cacerola de, de pollo, de arroz, etc. But the, the actual object, it's called pan, the pan. Good. Rosa Beatriz, tell me something that you hate. I cannot listen to you. Clean the roof, teacher. Cleaning the roof, yes. Can you listen to me? Yes. I forgot the photo. I hate to get up early. To get up early. Up. Yes. Claudia Maria? I hate I can't sleep at Sunday night. <laughs> oh, yeah. When you cannot sleep on Sunday night. Oh, uh, yeah, I hate that. Carolina? Tell me something that you hate. Yeah, teacher. Something that you hate. Like doing the dishes, washing clothes, cleaning the house. What is something that you hate? Que es algo que no te gusta hacer. Planchar. I don't. <laughs> Suleima. Eat uh, carrots. What? Eat carrots. Eat carrots. Me too. I don't like the carrots. <laughs> Rocio? Mm, definitely, I hate to wake up early. <laughs> to wake up early. And Miguel? Um, showing with my neighbor. What? Uh, showing with my neighbor. Show, showing? showing. Uh, what do you mean? ¿A qué, a, qué, ¿A qué se refiere? Lo estoy entendiendo mal. No lo shower. Shower, oh. shower. Shower, shower, oh, shower. Shower, shower. Wow. No, I'm asleep. I'm asleep. It, 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 
after this <laughs> leave. I, I, I hate that too. <laughs> is somewhere with my neighbor. <laughs> This baña, is part baña, of the class breakdown. Bañarse, bañarse. Ok. Con el vecino. Con el vecino. Es lo, es, es lo que se me acaba de ocurrir. No. Oh. Yo no estoy durmiendo. Oh. Ok. Este, quizá le vamos a cambiar. Estás soñando eh, con el vecino. Gear, gear. Eh, le vamos neighbor, a cambiar. A... Neighbor gear es la cosa. Sí. Eh, ok. Ah. Ah, lo, vamos a, lo vamos a cambiar un poquito. Ah, ah, maybe shower, shower in the morning, right? Shower in the morning, yeah. Cold water, teacher. With cold water, uh -huh. ajá. With... <laughs> yeah. Y ahorita con mi vecino, sí. Teacher, de acá. Right now. He's gay. Démoslo hasta ahí, ya. Let's continue with the attendance. Your work is, is, is in okay. lips. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> okay, dejemos, dejemos hasta ahí. El, el, thank you very much for sharing <laughs> your points of view about the, the different things that you hate doing. I, I honestly hate when, when I am I'm showering in my neighbor is was showering too. Carolina <laughs> Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia Maria. Present teacher. <laughs> Chris, Chris, no, no se estén riendo niños, no estén Diana. Diana, Diana se, no se va a ahogar. Dile hostia. Diana, respira. Pero supera, Diana. Respire. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Sí. Por ahí está Diana, se está riendo, la estamos viendo en cámara, Jorge Humberto. Sí, José Rodrigo. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, let me see. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. Ay, my goodness. Uh, Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Ivette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. <laughs> Manuel Present también. Teacher. <laughs> no, no <perdió>. supero. <laughs> Miguel Ángel. Nelson. Nelson. ¿Qué se me hizo Nelson? También otro que se está riendo todavía. Ay, se no se nos fue. El Manuel se sigue riendo. Qué pícaro. Norma Carolina. Olga Marlene. Present. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Zuleima. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Bill Maybet. Present teacher. Eh, Marlene. Omar. Present. And Dan. Thank you very much. Ok. Después no digan que no se la pasan divertido en clase. Ay, que no me río en la clase. You are going to remember me later on in your life. Ok. Let's work on the final exercises that I have for this uh, for this topic. And it says, if you some eggs, I some coffee. And it says, will cook, make, or if you cook, will make. What cook option will you make. choose? Cook, cook, will make. If you cook, cook some eggs, eggs, will make. I will make, I will make. Very good. If you cook some eggs, I will make some coffee. Very good. The next one. My brother, his car this afternoon, if he enough time. My brother will wash his car this afternoon if he has enough time. Very good job. My brother will wash his he car is, this afternoon sure. if he has enough time. <laughs> Very good job. Let's go with the next one. James will borrow some books if he goes to the library. Very good job. James will borrow some books if he goes to the library. What about the next one? If I need more money, I will need a back machine. We'll find a back machine. Okay, if I need more money, I will find a bank machine. Okay. 
Very good. And I think I Teacher, have one more. Yes. Bag machine is cajero. It's an ATM. Uh huh. It can also be called ATM. I will find an ATM. Okay. ATM. ATM. It's the same as bank machine. It's the uh, the ATM. Es el cajero automático. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Very good. And the last one that I have here for this exercise here is. Let me see. No. Oh, sorry. I moved this one. Number. Five. Sara will see the doc. Will see a doctor if uh, she still feels sick tomorrow. Okay. Sara will see a doctor if she still feels sick tomorrow. And what about number six? We will. We watch. We watch. We watch. We watch. We watch. We we watch a film. Okay, we will watch. We will. We will watch. We will watch a movie tonight if we feel bored. If we feel bored, very good. Okay, <laughs> we will watch a movie tonight if we feel bored. Okay, very good job. Very good job on the sentences. So I think the topic about the if clauses is completely cover and I think that you got the idea correctly right so we are going to end up the class with the last exercise that I have ready for the day and in this one we are going to work here right these sentences that I was showing you in the class right are the ones that you have in the platform right these ones are the ones that you have in the platform and are the ones that you were uh, that you were going to complete right and for sure you are going to use them like this right you are going to use them like this as i was showing you before right and uh, these ones you are going to find them in the platform with if and when for you to complete them right <clears throat> and the last one that we have is a little bit of reading, right? We're going to do a little bit of reading on these four minutes that we have left. And it says, hazardous materials. Do you know what's the meaning of hazardous? Like dangerous. Dangerous, very good, dangerous, right? Dangerous materials. And machinery are always found in a warehouse. How do you keep your employees out of danger? What is the best way to keep employees out of danger? What is the best way to keep employees out of danger? Provide safety measures related to different persons. To provide safety measures. What else? Capacitating. Training, right? Training people. <laughs> Training people, very good. What else? Training people, providing uh, equipment, providing the necessary gear, right? Los, los, los implementos necesarios, like a hat, like a vest, like a reflective uh, clothes, yeah. the reflective yeah. gear, yeah. right? right? The exact instructions of what they need to do, right? That is also important for you to train people on how to work on these things, right? For sure, if you handle materials, you need to have gloves. You need to have a special uniforms. Glass. Um, glasses, right? For you to protect your eyes or your skin, right? You need In to some have- Some kind of induction. To give a different type of training and induction processes for them not to do incorrect things at the moment of working, right? And here, for example, if you have a dangers of fire and things, you need to train on first aid, right? Siempre tiene que haber entrenamiento en primeros auxilios y fuego, right? It's also important. Do you receive this type of training at your workplace? ¿Les dan esos tipos de entrenamiento en su lugar de trabajo? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. How to work, how to, what to do in a fire, right? It's not run and yell. No, that's not an option, right? It is that you have to follow a specific procedure, right? In this case, this reading, right? You have it on your manual. And for sure here, this is something that we read before, but it says about some measures that you can use when uh, you work with your team, right? Measures that you can implement with your team. I am going to read it a little bit and we are going to practice reading tomorrow, okay? And it says, there is more to warehouse safety than mm -hmm. obedience to fire codes and safety regulations. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. Too many warehouse and 3PL look at safety as meeting the minimum instructed by the law or <clears throat> their conscience. In the long run, however, a safe warehouse environment delivers important costs, saving through higher employee satisfaction and increased productivity, fewer workplace disruptions and reduce absenteeism and equipment downtime. Long don't time. downtime. Don't expect employees to start with a culture of safety at work, establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operational changes and training and education programs starts with you, right? You have to be the example. The following are some measures you could start implementing with your team. What is the first one? Make sure that garbage and debris beings are available through the warehouse. Block access to exposed or open loading dock doors. Keep aisles and passaways clear at all times. No como en la foto, right? ¿Se acuerda? Keep your back straight and don't bend over, right? Teach employees to push manual material, handling equipment whenever possible, rather than pull them. Test the load before lifting it. If it is too heavy or bulky, get help. Keep docks and floors free of boxes, garbage, boxes, bailing materials, debris, dirt, and oil. And permit the access to above floors, racks, or shelves only if portable ladders or appropriate lifting devices are available. It's not like, yo me encaramo ahí, jefe. No, right? you need to have the equipment to do it. So tomorrow we are going to go over the reading, a little bit of vocabulary, new words, uh, new sentences, right? We're going to cover this one. And for sure, we're going to start talking about the inventory in tomorrow's class. So my dear students, it's page 32, page 32 on your manual. Give, give a little reading on this one, okay? And for sure, I am going to see you tomorrow to continue learning in the class. Have a beautiful night. I am going to stay with Tatiana for a couple of minutes. See you tomorrow, my dear students. See you, See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Be careful with the neighbor. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> my dear class. Bye-bye. Bye, Yvette. Bye. Bye, Feel good with your hand. Let's see. Okay, Yvette is disconnecting right now. And we're going to work a little bit. Tati, how are you? How are you feeling in the classes? Yes, I think today was very funny. <laughs> today was very Sometimes funny. Sometimes I feel like that, but today. Yeah, it's very maybe because in some cases, I imagine that you are even a little bit more tired than others. And I, I imagine that at the end of the day, it's like, oh, yes, boy, boy, maybe no because Lord. because today is my day off. So <laughs> I think that's why I feel okay. <laughs> You felt you felt relaxed, right? That's pretty yes. awesome. Yeah, it happens to me as well that it's my day off yesterday and today. So I feel relaxed at the moment of classes, right? And also when I have to cover contents, for example, of grammar or things, the class is a little bit heavier than, than the normal classes on which you practice or produce, right? Because it, it's a little bit of, of everything. But in general, Tatiana, how do you feel about the content? Is there something specific that you have difficulties with? Uh, teacher, I just have a question about the, the unit three because I I didn't finish a three three point five. Okay, let me just uh, open it. Uh huh. Okay. And 
you didn't finish exercise 3.5. Let me just go to the platform and I will open it. <clears throat> yes, we did it in class. One of them, I think you were not in the class that day because we worked in all the exercises. But I was on Friday, maybe. Yes. Yes, I covered the platform on that class. Ah, but but okay. we're going to but we're going to do it. You still have time to finish it. Don't worry. Right? Let okay. See. I am going to open it right now. I will close my book so I can have a little bit more memory. 3.5. This one. <clears throat> ah. This was about punctuation, right? Este era más que todo de la puntuación al momento de hacer las preguntas, right? And in this one, let me see here, I have it also on the book. And let me just show it to you. I have it right here. This was about the punctuation, the punctuation with the transitional words. And what you need to do, for example, in that case, you have to put, eh, en, la primera, en la primera clause que tenemos, la primera oración, punto, de ahí el conector en mayúscula, coma. Ok, y si nos vamos aquí a la, al ejercicio, aquí por ejemplo tiene, ah, okay. we remove items from cartons and packages, okay. y tiene aquí el conector, as a result, as a result. pero aquí el, la oración lo que no tiene es la puntuación, entonces aquí tendríamos que poner el punto, el punto aquí, de ahí as a result con mayúscula, y de ahí coma, y pickers are not able to find the items when they need to. Okay. In the next one, the vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. Aquí tiene el conector. Consequently, tendríamos que ponerle punto aquí. Consequently, con mayúscula. Y de ahí, coma. Okay. Y así vamos con los demás. En la siguiente, ¿cuál es el conector de la siguiente? Uh, the warehouse doesn't have enough clocks. Dogs. Dogs. There, therefore. Uh -huh. You have therefore, right? And in this one, you have therefore. Este es el conector. Aquí tenemos que ponerle punto. Punto aquí a dogs. Therefore con mayúscula. Y coma. Right? No ¿Cuál es la otra forma que podemos hacer? Ponerle punto y coma antes del conector y después coma. Pero la más común es ponerle el punto y después mayúscula. The next one. What do you have in the next one? It says, the conveyor belt broke. As a consequence. As a, as a consequence. So you have to put the period, the capital, and the comma. Right? As a consequence. And for number five, we have a mouse in the house. What is the connector? Uh, therefore. Therefore, okay. Aquí ponemos punto, eh, mayúscula y coma. O lo que podemos hacer, que es la segunda opción que presenta el libro. Here, <coughs> you have eh, punto y coma, el, el, ¿cómo se llama? Connector en coma. Y aquí no pone mayúscula. Okay. Si le pone punto y coma antes, no le pone mayúscula y solo le pone coma. Okay. And, but the most common one and the one that I, I do recommend is to put a period and then the capital and the coma. Okay. And in the next one, did you complete the next ones? Uh, the, other, the other ones. Okay. This one. Okay. For the first one, Everything. <clears throat> For I the finish. first one, you finish. Yes, everything, teacher. But just, just that part, I, I didn't remember about, about that. About the, the, the connectors. Yes, because we started connectors on Friday. We started the unit, and I covered the platform with, with that section. So oh. in this case, uh, the other ones, for sure, it was just about uh, organizing, and we did that one in class as well. And this is about what you were doing here. This one is not going to be a hundred percent. Esa es la única que no le va a salir con un 100% porque creo que faltan dos opciones en la plataforma. Pero eh, si le da todo marcado como correcto, ahí ya no hay problema. 
porque cuando ¿Qué? yo paso las notas ahí le va a dar. Les o sea que no me quedaría con el 100% esa unidad. No, este ejercicio nada más. Ah, ok. Ajá. Este ejercicio nada más, pero como cuando yo paso las notas, ahí, ahí ya veo que todo está completo con el porcentaje que usted tiene. Okay. Wow. Because in this one, it's like general housekeeping, you have to choose two options, right? And I, I think finished it is that one. part, teacher. Okay, you finished this one as well. And this was basically it. And this is what we're just reading. Este era lo que estábamos leyendo justo ahorita. And then uh, the only thing that we are missing after this is the unit four about the inventory, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the final exams that are just like, uh, that are uh, right, the organizing your inventory efficient or efficiently, right? Record information accurately or accurate. Check for possible uh, improvement, consistent or consistently, consistently, okay. right? You have to choose the best option there, but this is about the inventory. But about the rest of the exercises, they are done. Ya los demás ejercicios ya los tienes listos. Yes. Okay. And in general, I can see that you have advanced. You have a very good level of fluency. Uh, you have a lot of confidence now when you speak. I feel that you give your opinion like in a very clear way. I am very glad because of that. And uh, in general, what do you think the skill, uh, what is the most difficult skill for you? Listening, speaking, reading or writing? No, I think just the fluent, the fluent thing. Fluency. Fluency, because uh, when I start these courses, I, I, it was very hard when I have to read, but now I think I read better. Yeah, I understand everything actually, but when, when I have to speak is, is a little bit, confused or I have some shy too so you but, feel shy yes but in my work uh, everybody is speaking English so uh, I think it's helped me because everybody is speaking English everybody speaks English so it helps you a lot so I think I am going to continue working on exercises for you to improve your fluency and I am going to find a way for you to work on that a little bit more. Okay, Tatiana? Yes. Okay. So, have a Thank beautiful night. Uh, no, thanks to you for staying in this few minutes after the class. Have a great night and I will see you tomorrow then to continue working. Okay, goodbye. Bye -bye. Have, a, have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.